Hi, Margarita. How you doing? Thank you so much for including your work. I've got your Word doc open right over here. I think that you've got some really good examples. I think two of your three examples are outstanding. This is fantastic. This is a really, really, this, this infographic is done very well. It's got great hierarchy. It's got a definite directional flow. It's um, uh, target market specific. It's got a wonderful sense of simplicity using outstanding color and negative space as design element. And I just think it's a really fantastic infographic. I think the same thing can be said about this. And I think one of the things that make these so interesting and so successful is they are relatively simple. They're not too complex. It's not daunting to look at this and say, oh gosh, where do I start? I mean, each one has a definite directional flow and they're, they're outstanding examples. And I think your writing, uh, your descriptions are also excellent. Um, I think the weak link of the three is the Starbucks. Now, we know that um, when we talk about uh, simplicity in design, and we hear that all the time, simplicity works. It is a magic formula in graphic design. It works 99% of the time you go for us. I mean, there are several principles of design that, that point to simplicity. One is called uh, uh, Razor's Occam. One is called Hicks Law. And they all basically say the same thing. They say that 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 Occam's razor basically says that uh, the simplest method is usually the best. And Hicks Law says that every time you add something to what's already there, it takes away from what's already there. So they both point to the, the um, relevant success of simplicity in a visual communication. And I think that both your good examples display that to a very high degree. This one is might be a little oversimplified. Um, the inherent advantage of infographics, you know, infographics can distill advanced ideas into, into a simple visual form. And that's why the retention levels increase exponentially when you present information uh, and present data via graphics and text, as opposed to just graphics or just text. Something happens with the brain where the connections are made and retention is increased. This, I think, is so overly simple. Um, there's really only three graphics in this. There's the cup, the bean, and the, the silhouette of the map. So I, I, I'm just, I don't really see this as presenting data in a really useful way and, and, and a way that will, will force us to retain that data. Um, so another thing I think is a little confusing is this, is that this, these little bubbles right here, they make this appear as though it's an effervescent drink, um, something that's carbonated, right? I mean, the last time I checked, coffee doesn't fizz like this. So I think that's an immediate um, miscommunication there. Also, you've got uh, some of the data is oversimplified. So you have right here, a Starbucks coffee has 320 milligrams caffeine. Okay, what does that tell us? That doesn't tell us anything. It Basically, what we need to do is, is we need to compare that to your average cup of coffee. So is, is this saying that Starbucks has more caffeine or less caffeine? Do you, do you see what I'm saying? Um, so my question to do is, and what I would like you to address in response to this a video is what could you do to this particular infographic to make it a little bit more compelling? Um, it's oversimplified. What could we do? What can we add? For example, what can we do down here other than just giving a bean? All right, so this is basically textual information. This is not infographics at all. Placing a bean in front of a timeline doth not make infographics. So Mike, and also here, 100, uh, twice the population of Greenland, 137,000. So that's Greenland. So I mean, what, I don't really think that there's any visual advantage of showing the country of Greenland and saying, well, the twice as many people that live here. Did you see what I'm saying? It just, it's just, it's a lack of information here. So my question to you is this, no, I'd like, as I said, what I would like you to address is what would you do to this infographic to make it more compelling, more visually compelling, and to um, increase the validity of the data within the infographic, okay? Other than that, really great job on your other two, but I think, as I said, this is the weak link. So I'd like to hear you talk a little bit more about the Starbucks infographic. All right, fantastic, great job. Thank you so much for sharing. Looking forward to your response.